the good energy <laughs> in here. <laughs> All I want is to just feel the light. <laughs> Mamba your, mentality. That's shout your out. Kyrie Irving impression. <laughs> Don't call me the N-word. I will cry. <laughs> And yes, that's my Kyrie Irving impression, 100%. Accurate, too. Promise you. I started the recording, but... I know you did. I'm going to cut I'm gonna cut it down, because, or I'm just going to let this play out, because we have to have the real opening that I want. What's the real opening that you... Oh, the real opening you want? Dun-dun-dun-dun! Dun-dun-dun-dun! dun 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 Here we are! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the part we're supposed to bring in your homeboy, actually. Like, we're doing the whole oh, song. Like. Oh, oh my song. gosh. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Cut it, cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. BBA is here in the building. BBA is in the building. <laughs> We brought BB-8. I brought BB-8. I was about to say, she brought BB-8. <laughs> I, I had nothing to do with this. Wow, this is very clunky opening. I think I'm drunk. I think I'm yeah. still on uh, yes. vacation mode. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah. <laughs> you, can, you can call it what you want, bitch. Call me on your sidekick. You are. No, BB-8's going to chill in the shot. Uh, find us on yeah, YouTube. Coach, coach. Find us on YouTube, Quarantine's Podcast. You can see BB-8 and my amazing shirt, Star Wars. Tatooine shirt. I'm gonna you show know you. We, you know we can't go a lot of episodes without mentioning uh, the greatest movie series of all time. Don't at me. You'll waste your time arguing. But um, yeah, yeah. of course. Somebody just came back yeah. from Vegas. Hi, Star Sean. Wars Galaxy's Edge in Disneyland. Just got back from San Diego, like I said last week. Uh, there's a lot to say. There's a lot to go over with this. Wait, so last week, so you're going to put this next week? Yes. Okay. Right. And now you just made it, so I have to cut it. But whatever, it's okay. <laughs> cut it. <laughs> cut it. <laughs> cut it. Cut it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, back from vacay. First vacation since COVID, like I said, it was amazing. It was spectacular. We had the best time. I know. I spent all my money. We were making the joke. Uh, shout out to Tony. It was like, fresh start. Fresh start. Meaning. <laughs> zero. Reset. Yeah, reset. when we come home. We're coming, back, we coming back at zero. <laughs> yeah, empty. Literally at zero. <laughs> no, money, no money, no nothing no left. Like, <laughs> so we were like, yep, fresh start, fresh start. No money, no tickets, no nut. <laughs> like, we just at zero. But yeah, BB-8 it got a little, so. got a little crazy. Um, yeah, I have a lot to say. First of all, last week we talked about um, outfits. Yes, we did talk about outfits. <laughs> and I need to give an update on what happened with said outfits because this is actually funny. So um, I brought everything in the whole world, shoved it in my carry-on. I did not check a bag. I almost she did. She didn't also. She didn't put, <laughs> I sorry, guys, I failed you. I tried to get her to put the fucking Venmo name in yeah, the story. Yeah, I know. You didn't press me. And she didn't do it. So she I just, decided yeah, I not was to, like, she no, I'm not going to do that. Pay for the bag. I know, I know. And then you told me to pick up somebody at the airport. I didn't do that either. Yeah, she didn't but do the airport bar thing either. Oh, my gosh. Oh. I did make it with my carry-on only. And I even got BB-8 home, which was a a little bit of a task but um yeah so i shoved everything in now i texted you the day of and decided at the last minute to take out my clubbiest clubby outfit in the shoes which was well, yeah I, thank god i did that one you was going to that one's you yeah. were supposed to go to like the 30 that was club, like, like pick up a um, sugar daddy millionaire and yeah. that was just never gonna happen with you, my you brother was, and you was trying so to go and so. you was trying yeah. to go somewhere the day wasn't gonna let you go <laughs> So or anyway, you so have the, to go solo dolo. I, <laughs> no, I took I took that one out. I took out the yeah, LBD. You, we, we, hey, we know she had like it was like the team vacation, and then there was a Christian vacation. I mean, <laughs> you know. I mean. Yeah, I'm about so, to say, yeah, we can't we can't put that one back. <laughs> so um, but okay, so I did not bring that. I ha- told you I had like two or three different outfit choices planned for Tory Pines at the US, o- U.S. Open at Tory Pines, mm-hmm. which was on Friday. We got in Wednesday night. Thursday, we quote unquote unquote from our group attacked brunch <laughs> for like eight hours with an enthusiasm <laughs> unknown to mankind. <laughs> so Shout basically, out. we brunched all day into the night. Um, so drank all day. Friday was uh, the PGA, and I had three outfit options available to me and i wore none of them (laughs) because because 
the Ooh. night before we were like looking up the fucking rules and they implement, you know, that it was this whole saga of even getting these tickets. They took them all away because of COVID and yeah, then they, they gave them back. and they gave like half of them back and we yeah. couldn't figure out if we should just sell the tickets or what we should do. Then they were like, fine, suddenly you can have everything back. And then they were like, here's all these rules, COVID protocols. And then they were like, oh no, it's a free for all. They're like, we're kidding. Just show up. Yeah. So it was a fucking mess. But anyway, the, the thing was saying like, it was unclear whether or not bags were allowed at all. So we were like, fuck. So I was going to wear like this dress, but it had literally no pockets. And it was like one article of clothing. I'm like, I need supplies. I'm about to be in this bitch 12 fucking hours. I need, uh, I need stuff with me. Like, <laughs> I'm a woman. We need stuff with us. I need a... You better get that tent access, I girl. need all kinds of things. So anyway, uh, I completely redid my whole outfit. And I wore this... Um, like orangish wrap shirt, wrap shirt. Yeah, where it's like a like this, and it wraps. So like, like, it wraps you, put a like bl- a robe. you put a blanket on. No, no, it wraps like a robe, but it's a shirt. Like it's a not a robe. robe. Yeah, like how Robes a robe don't wrap. Like you mean? Yeah, like they do. The... They put one and then the other side. You mean there's like and then the it ties string around. Yeah, the... this shirt has a string. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's right. so it's really like a robe. Got you. Okay. But it's cute. I mean, it's a real shirt. And but it has these like I sleeves. I thought you were wearing a fake shirt. My apologies. <laughs> it has these <laughs> sleeves that are like a princess, like big sleeves like this. Oh, you was really feeling the Disney attitude. No, yeah, it was cute. It was really cute, and I just wore it with like biker shorts. But and it was perfect because it was like windy. Oh, you, by the time this episode drops, the picture will be on Instagram. You can go and judge for yourself if you think it's cute. I thought it was cute. Is it cute so, enough to put on your Tinder profile? Yeah, I would. I would. Okay. So um, the only problem with it, it was it was windy. So like the sleeves would go in the wind and it was really cute. However, <laughs> the only uh, option was the porta potty <laughs> with these fat sleeves. <laughs> so I was struggling. You yeah, had no. Ooh, damn. I had to come with a whole fucking peeing strategy. It was terrible. Ooh. So I like tied. Yeah, do you like strap it up? <laughs> like, what was you doing? Like, no, I literally the hair like, pins, it, like, so like they like hung enough. Like it was significant. Like how much they would like be big. So I, mm. there was enough that I could like tie it up around itself. Like literally tie it in a knot on both sides. You so throw like, it over your shoulder. <laughs> if it's how to make it cold, do your chain. Hey, hello. <laughs> yeah, so I'm like standing every time, like, and we're drinking all fucking day, so I have to pee like every fucking hour. Oh, <laughs> and I'm standing man. in the line, like tying my sleeves up. <laughs> Would you say that this situation, as far as peeing, was worse <laughs> than like the romper? Oh, yeah. Because, see, then I wore a romper to Disneyland, so I had to be naked in the stall because you have to take the whole thing off. <laughs> so you had two very horrible bathroom well, situations. Well, two bathrooms. Yeah, the bathroom situation were bad in both outfits, but the outfits Not themselves were really cute. don't be able to do it. Go on my Instagram. Tell me what you think of the, of the Disneyland. Chris Renee. Yeah. She's going to be throwing these They're out They're going to be on there. Yeah, the Disneyland day, I wore, like, this... Bl- it's going around Instagram right now. It's not this one, but it's like this, the, the athletic dress. So it's like got like short, it's basically like overalls, but then it has this like dress over it, over it. I ain't wearing a good pair of overalls in a long time. So yeah, I know. so you pull it on, and it's just one thing, and it pulls all the way on, and it's like a sports thing, so you don't wear a bra with it. So literally, when I had to pee, I was fully naked in the stall. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Like, man, like. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I know that I have I know that I have a, I have a onesie and I've worn it for Halloween yeah, so one time <laughs> and it was like the worst experience being out there trying to pee in the fucking onesie. I can't imagine yeah. having an outfit that I actually genuinely because at least the onesie like it's a zipper like I go oh yeah all the no way this down, is I a whole manipulate like. You can't do nothing about the rock. No, like, you no because the other thing, the other reason why I wore it was cute is that it's ki- it's like backless kind of, so it like crisscrosses with these like, oh, like strappy things, like with like how a sports bra, some of these sports bras oh, are, it's like sorry, strappy, right. strappy in the back. I got what you're saying. So it was really cute, but like that's not simple to pull on. It's a lot of like fixing it and like blah yeah, blah blah. Pobrecito. So <laughs> it was a Ooh. lot. It was a lot. Both outfits were a lot. But the the um that Disneyland wasn't so bad. I mean, because that was second. So compared to the fucking porta potty, I was like in heaven. 
Porta potties are terrible for women. So bad. Your face is literally in the urinal. Eh, time out. <laughs> Porta potties are not great for any being. Like zero. Like I not, mean, agreed. Not agreed. One. Oh like, my god. And then I was so fucking pissed off at this bitch in front of me in the porta potty. Here we go. She sh- she closed couldn't, the. Couldn't she, be a woman. She couldn't closed even be a the female. lid. Had she closed the lid. Oh, Why well. the fuck would you close a lid in a porta potty? Then I have to touch it and open it. I, mean, I was so are, fucking mad. You were already in there. It's gross anyway. Yeah, I know, but like but I'm not I, trying to touch yeah, the I'm, fucking porta potty lid. That's fucking disgusting. Plus, it was late in the day, so like they're fucking full. Okay. So all gross. Right, time out. Time out. <laughs> we we we, ju- we jump we jumping all over the place. Let's <laughs> let's go back to Tory Pines mm. real quick. Yes, yes, yes. So you get into Tory Pines. You yeah. fit your outfit that is not your packed outfit for reasons. Correct. Whatever. <laughs> You get in that you do not get to bring a bag in, or you do get to no, bring a no bag. bag. So so I, no bag. So no bag. So you solo dolo, just your phone, whatever. Well, shit, I had the I wore the biker shorts because they had pockets. So I brought like some. We had to bring sunscreen because gotcha. you know it's okay. whatever. And like blah blah blah. So I brought like the key essentials, phone phone charger yeah. thing, and like whatever. So I didn't bring much. And then we get in there. We got we got there at seven thirty in the morning because they were teeing off at six forty five. We couldn't get there that early. And then oh, it was, that early? it was, well, no, I was fucking tired. We had to get up early as fucking drive there. I thought you guys were chilling the night before to, to we were, we were, but like chilling for vacation chilling is different than like at home oh. chilling. So we got Fair up enough. at like whatever early and then we went to this like drop off thing, whatever. Anyway, we get there at seven thirty. My brother is like giddy and we walk in and like we're half asleep and there's barely anyone there at this point. And the... 11th green and the 12th T are like right in front of us. And there's like not a huge crowd, but like a few people standing there. And so we walk in and we're all excited and, <laughs> and we're like, Oh, like someone's putting, like, let's go see who it is. Uh-huh. Like it's probably nobody, whatever we walk up. We literally just walk right up. No crowd, nothing. It's Hideki Matsuyama and Bryson DeChambeau, a.k.a. the current Masters champion. Yeah, and your, and, and your boy. And, yeah, and Bryson, like, mm. very, very amazing, good golfer. Mr. Popular, many playing things. with Aaron Rodgers. So it was just so wild that it was like, holy Those shit, immediately yeah. right there. Um, this old guy, like, later in the day was on the phone bot near us where no golfers were hitting. Because you have to be quiet. Mm. But when no golfers were hitting, and he was talking to, like, must have been his son or some shit. And he was like... You wouldn't believe this. There's no crowds here. They limited everyone because of COVID. Only v- so many people. Apparently, you had to pass a beauty test because everybody's beer looks fucking good. Like, blah, blah, blah. Go well, on. I mean, hey, after that one picture you showed me of that mom with the ring yeah. big as hell, I'm like, yeah. Right. So, we were seeing everyone talking to everyone. We were walking right up. I mean, seriously, three feet from Brooks Kepka, Justin Thomas, Colin Morikawa, mm-hmm. fucking Phil Mickelson had a quote unquote huge following but again it was like way limited attendance so there's nobody there we literally saw and interacted with all the best players and had just like literally the best fucking time ever we ran into this woman who (laughs) chirped my brother because we were walking we were coming from like the bar area and then uh jared's like oh like somebody's coming up this fairway right now it must not be anybody too huge. And he was only meaning that in the sense of, like, there wasn't a big crowd watching. Yeah. And this woman overhears him saying that, and she goes, um, this is the PGA U.S. Open. This is a major tournament. They're all the good ones. <laughs> or, like, some shit like that. She was pissed. Uh, and we, like, she turned around. Those. She wanted those. Okay. Yeah, she was yeah. super mad. We turned around, and we were, like, haha, like, kind of whatever, joking with her. And then we all stood there to watch this guy shoot. And then I look at her fucking finger. She's got probably a 20-carat ring on her fucking finger. That shit was huge. It no, was I, massive. Was huge. So yeah. I took a secret picture of it. Maybe I'll post it on the ground. Se- <laughs> secret picture? Uh, it didn't look very secret to me. Well, it she l- wasn't paying attention. Yeah, she had it, b- it looked bigger like she surprise. wasn't looking, and you was like, surprise. Yeah. Sort of like I took a picture of them. Oh, did I send you? Yeah, I sent you the, the sugar daddy date. You did. Picture, you said, yeah. yeah. Meantime, Lume sending me pictures of sugar daddy dates. I'm like, oh, my God. What's my life right now? No, it was so fun. We had literally the best time. Jared got yelled at by one of the golfers. That was hilarious, too. but Because it, it wasn't his fault. Because there were so few people there, it was definitely a thing of, like, some, sometimes they I feel they like a- you're about to tell me that it's his fault. They No, they ask you to move much more often because if there's a big crowd, there's nothing to be said. Like, there's there's literally a big crowd lining the entire green. 
But if there's not a big crowd and you're the only person standing behind someone and they're trying to look to take a take a putt, it's really hard to to see what you're doing because there's a lone person standing like beyond your field of vision. So Jared, we didn't. The green was like way above, so you couldn't see the pin. So we Jared like walk. He's double fisting Bud Lights. He walks up to the green, which is roped off, so he's perfectly allowed to be there. But just by chance, there was no other crowd standing there. And the golfer was, like, putting, like, basically at him. And he was like, hey, can you, like, fucking move left or right? Like, I'm putting. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> and my brother. Did, like, did you figure going, out who the player was? Yeah, it was Stuart Sink, who's one of, like, you know, like love him. He, oh, he, he was dang, He was Lee Westwood. He's an OG. And he wasn't even, like, actually mad at him. He was, like, laughing himself. He's just like, hey, buddy, double fist over there. Like, can you move left or right? And Jared was so embarrassed. Like, typically he would, like, talk shit or something. But he was so embarrassed that he literally, with his two beers in hand, turned straight around and sprinted down the hill. Because <laughs> he was like, oh, shit, my bad. <laughs> so it was really fun. We had a great time. <laughs> it sounds like you had a great time. But my feet died because we were there for 12 hours. Yeah, and we and know you don't like Disneyland. standing for right. 10 minutes. So shit. Well, not that I don't like it. It hurts. I have foot problems. I, anyway. Hey, I, you didn't have to say it. I, <laughs> I, I just say you don't like Stress standing Stress fractures in my feet. No, it was fine. Like we had a great time. Except I did twist my ankle. So then I wore an ankle brace at Disneyland. <laughs> Oh, she's playing hurt, guys. Look at her setting up this whole story, man. She's gonna be a great actress on no, Hollywood one day. Fine. My goodness. It was fine. It was fine. It just needed uh, like some extra compression. It was fine. Uh, <laughs> we were thriving, fine. but my feet were thriving. Really, and at the end Diano. of Disneyland, I was really kind of dying. And in fact, this foot still is kind of hurting today. I'm worried it's broke, but uh, we'll we cross go. that bridge when we get there. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me if I had a broken foot. I've had three, so. It wouldn't surprise me if there was a fourth. This is what I mean. I got problems. Hey, put put your Venmo name <laughs> at King Chris and Renee. Put it on Go here. fund me. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's, That's okay. I got good dollars insurance. It'll be all right. <laughs> oh, no, man, it was amazing. Tori was fucking amazing, amazing, amazing. We had so much fun. How was the weather in San Diego? The weather time? was uh, mild but nice compared to the muggy shit that was here before we left. Um... It gets cool. It get uh, I you know I lived in California. Like it gets really cool at night there. You think it's gonna stay hot like it does here, and it doesn't. It cools off. So you have to like figure that out. But yeah, and then we went to Disneyland. So then we went out Friday night. Got fucked up. Oh, this fucking sleazy guy who was like a friend of a friend of a Stop. friend. Stop right now. Why he got to be sleazy? No, because he was sleazy. Because uh, no, 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 but, uh, okay, fine. Here's a perfect example. He wouldn't uh, tell anyone his name. Oh, maybe yeah. he's a secret agent. No, he was. Maybe no, CIA. N- this trust me. This twenty fucking five year old <laughs> guy was not in the CIA. He was like a friend of a friend of a friend. We were hanging out at the crib. He was just like, I'm like, oh, like I was trying to just be like, hey, what's up. And uh, he, like, literally, no, me, Sam, Jared, like, anyone, like, he would not fucking tell us his so name. So, talking about, was he, like, just saying, like, my name is X-Pac? Or was he no, saying, he like, was I like, got no name? Like, like, he kept pretending to, like, say it under his breath. Um, like, just being a fucking asshole. Like, we're just literally being like, what's up? We're chilling. And you guys let him hang out with you? Well, it wasn't our choice because we were at like this girl's house. Again, like, friends of friends of friends. Uh, so, you were at a party, essentially. Yeah, yeah. He was invited like by a whoever bonfire-ish. he was invited. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So then, so we go out to the bar or whatever, and then we go, and then he, his roommate is like friend, different friend of a friend, and they were like, yeah, come after to their house, cool, which was fine, and he has like this fucking fancy beach house, but I was like, what do you do for work? And he wouldn't tell me that either. And he pays like fucking five grand a month to have this, li- it's literally on the beach, like it's one of those ones, like on the beach, on the beach. And it was fan, it was like fancy, but... You know, there's a bunch of dudes living there, so they don't keep it that nice. But in any case... Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I resent that. I clean this place all the fucking But time. no, he was like one of those people. And then he kept like telling me... He, and he's like, oh, I'll get the Uber. Like, he wanted to pay for everything. And then, like, we were in the Uber. And this I was no like... Name? Yeah, this is no name. Oh, okay. And then he, he was trying to act like he had all these other plans. 
And I was just like, okay, you know me. Like, he wanted me to be like, oh, no, stay with us. And I was just like, I mean, what the fuck ever? Like, if you've got to go, you got to go. Go get, go fuck some bitch. Like, have fun. And he was just like so taken aback and didn't know I what mean, to do. If you want to come over. Like. Yeah, no, I was like, what? and I wasn't even, first of all, he was like 5'6. So I was not even. Oh, going. man. It has been like 20 <laughs> episodes since. It's literally been like 20 episodes since she hated on a short guy. Yeah, no, oh I was not even goodness. going like that. And also it pissed, like. She's bad. Can you imagine my face if, I, if I'm being nice and say, me saying like, hey, what's your name? Like, nice to meet you. Super good. We're in town. Like, glad you guys are here. Blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm trying to be like this nice person. And he won't tell me his name. Can you imagine the look on my face? It depends on if you've had alcohol oh or not, but God. yes, I can imagine both faces. Oh, my God. Neither so of them are very positive. So then he's not telling us what he does for work, and he's just, like, fucking being smarmy all around, and I'm just like, you know what, like, this is just enough is enough. I mean, I, I kind of <laughs> like that my man's new, like, this this little crew, I'm not trying to get into this, so. Uh, but then he kept saying, like, oh, I gotta go, this and that, and I was like, all right, Bye. And then he fucking showed back up and was like, oh, I'm back. It's like, oh, okay. So you're, so you're just trying to act like you're too cool for us. That's what's happening here. Mm, that sounds like, a, <laughs> sounds like a typical bad guy where they yeah. you can't seem to get rid of them. They're right, like a, right. So they're like, oh, I can't stay. And like then suddenly you're, they won't mm. leave. Yeah. No, so, so we were at their crib for a while. But then I was just like, I'm, I hate this guy. Let's fucking go home. So we took an Uber home. They were expensive, but whatever. At like 5 a.m. Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, 5 a.m. Yeah. You deserve what you yeah, pay gotta for. Go. Yeah, gotta go. Gotta go. Yeah. You have to take an Uber at 5 a.m. and it's not to the airport. You deserve <laughs> what you pay for. But like, actually, that one wasn't as bad as the one trying to get into the bars the night before. That was like an $80 Uber. This one was only like $40. Mm, pobrecito. Yeah. Anyway, and then Disneyland on Sunday. And, I mean, just, like, amazing. What can I say? Star Wars at Galaxy's Edge? What is there to say? Build your built my BB-8. I feel like it's my child. It's like a child, but better, because it doesn't actually. Because you don't have to have anything. any responsibility for it. <laughs> but it'll like minus talk to like you. get batteries. <laughs> because when you carry it around, like we were carrying them around in our bags, and like they interact with the park. So when you're in like a dark, like ride, it gets scared, and it'll be like. Oh. <laughs> So you just that's like your BB-8 impression. <laughs> that's terrible. Just, just for the record. <laughs> <laughs> Slightly better. Still terrible. So anyway, so you can interact with it like it's your child, but you don't have to actually fucking do anything like some of these other parents out here. Fucking hey, Christ. No. So, <laughs> so yeah, we were just living our best adult lives at Disneyland. It was fucking great. It was amazing. It's Rise of the Resistance, best ride. In, yeah. T- tied for the best ride I've you, ever you, been on. You definitely Gringotts. got me. I'm not going to pretend. You got me hype on that. I definitely want to Yeah, I showed ride. you all the videos. Like, I won't go into it on the pod just because it's too much. But <laughs> Yeah, and we, we nerd out about this sh- whole yeah, no, universe Yeah, it was amazing. Enough, but. It was so much fun. It was great. <sighs> Except my feet were fucking dying. <laughs> and I had the ankle brace on. But it was kind of fine. It like, matched the outfit. It was fine. Well, I am really glad you had a great time. Yeah, me too. As someone who... He, I've been traveling since quarantine for I know, a while. You've, so yeah, like, you've been out here. So I'm on like trip number four. You, you I know, just I'm now getting out of I'm here. Behind. So uh, I'm glad you got to go out. And San Diego is actually one place I really do want to go to. I've never been. I've been on a layover to Vegas one well, time. And, and, that's and we it. didn't even really fuck around that much in downtown San Diego. We went to brunch in Little Italy, which is sort of downtown. I mean, it is, but, like, we didn't go in the main area, like, by the Padres Stadium, like, at all, because on the day that we were really drinking, we were in Coronado by the uh, uh, golf course over there, because that's where my brother was golfing, Mm -hmm. so we went to the Dell, they call it, which is the Hotel Del Coronado, which is, like, basically this old Hollywood hotel. It literally looks like a castle, like, but it's, like, white. It's kind of like, you know, in a... um, Casino Royale when he goes to the Ocean Club. Oh yeah, it's kind of yeah, like yeah. that. Okay, yeah. I like those vibes though. But it's but it's huge and they have all these pool bars and like blah blah blah. So and it's I like right on those the vibes though. I like yeah. that place. So we went over there. That was sick. But so I can't even tell you that much about the city. But fucking Tory Pines was lit and Disneyland was lit. And well, it, the whole thing was amazing. All I know is I'm really glad that you had a great vacation. Yeah. Even though I know you didn't treat your vacations the way I treat my vacations, which is 
all about the podcast research because you told me you didn't go to the airport bar yeah, to hit on nobody. I know for a fact you didn't swipe at all while you were there. Uh, yeah, that's a fact. So I'm just trying to figure out what was you doing for quarantine yeah, while you was out there. <laughs> this is a fair. This is a fair criticism. Hmm. <laughs> I did I'm, not I'm do my out. due I'm diligence on the uh, roster front. In fact, Christian was also giving me a hard time about this he's mm. like what are you doing i'm mm. like i know i gotta like get mm. it together mm. we're, just, um, we're just we're trying to figure out we're supposed to be a team you know <sighs> us the studio audience we're all a team we out here we grow together you know and we just i know we just we i'm wanna- sorry i told <laughs> i told you i would be back on my bullshit in a good way when i got back <laughs> solemnly <laughs> swear solemnly swear to be yeah. up mm. to no good for this podcast. I don't need you to be up to no good. I need you to be up to good for the podcast. Well, I fucking... In, I invited someone you-know-who over here to record, but they couldn't come. I was trying to, like, you know, whatever. <laughs> Just stop. No, we're done. <laughs> don't say anything. <laughs> she, she gonna cut this whole part out, so don't make no difference. She not gonna look that bad. She gonna, she gonna cut the whole part out. So I can say whatever I want now. She gonna cut the whole thing out. It's not gonna make no difference. Oh, shake No, my it was head. great, but I will admit that I lacked on the quarantines. Though it was pretty wild to meet a dude who wouldn't tell me his name or his occupation when I asked him point blank directly for those two. Oh, no, that's a good story. That's definitely content. Shout yeah, out. Yeah, it was pretty wild. He looks like, you know what he looked like? Um, kind of like a, he was better looking than this, but he looked like, um, you this, know. This five, six person? The ki- no, the, ki- the, the guy, f- he was on Disney Channel. What the fuck was his name? Famous Jed Jackson? No, no, he's not, he him, wasn't black. Right. He was like... Um, oh, that's too bad. Even um, Stevens, man? No, Sh- not, Shia no not that one. Not that one. Um, he's got like a rat face. <laughs> wow. First he's too short. Now he got rat face. No, here... Hang on. I'm pausing, I'm pausing the thing so I can look it up. No, I can't look it up because my phone's on yeah, the thing. Yeah, I was about to say, that was... Anyway, he looked like this kid from Disney You Channel. want me to look it up? No, no, no. It's not that important. Let me type in Disney and rat face. No, on don't, do, don't do that. See. I just want to see. What, what show was it? I'm genuinely Moises curious. Moises Arias. Moises Arias. I don't That's know who name. that is. <laughs> <laughs> I literally don't know what you just said. Stop talking shit, Rod. Moises? Moises. First of all, Moises. Man, that's a name. That's oh, a- this kid? Let's see. Yes, yes, oh. that's what he looked like. You saw like let a me grown, see the bigger picture. Click on you it. You saw a grown version of that. Yeah, and he and Ooh. he and yeah, he looked exactly like that. He looked exactly yeah. like that, and he um, what didn't want to tell us I, that honestly might have been him, and that's maybe why he wasn't telling us who he was. No, that's not him. I'm capping. That wasn't. Him. I know you're lying, but that's but so that funny. That looked though. like him. That's what he looked like. Man, that more dude's, that dude's 27. Ooh-wee. Yeah, he looked like that, but more like Ooh. Armenian or something. Oh man! All right. Well, I am. But s- small like that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so. I should have done better with the airport, though. On the way back, my flight was early, so like not lots happening. Yeah, airport bar early. When you're coming back, knowing you got to work is sometimes yeah, just, difficult. I was like too busy crying. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, my vacation no, but being the, over. The, the, air, the airport bar on your way to your trip is always. The I move. know. I should have done that. It's just that the airport was packed always and I had to wait in move. line she forever knows. Yeah, for she knows. food. Hey, psh. as long as the bar is open when you get there. Actually, that's actually the worst. I know, right? The worst thing about COVID and the Rona and quarantine was. This when is the I was worst thing. This is the to worst. me, okay. when traveling, okay, all the bars was closed. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. So I'd the be like, thing. "Damn, I gotta go out there," yeah. and I'm like, "I can't even get a drink before I get on this fucking flight." Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And then they're like, "You can't take no drink on the flight." So I'm like, "Yeah, they even still are kind yeah, of on I that mean, now. Yeah. They don't want you to really eat or drink nothing." Nah, the bringing the shooters is a hustle, but it's like. It's a lot. Yeah, I got to put the work in. At like, least, thank God, I was in TSA pre-check because I definitely had too much liquids, but I split them up between the bags, and then I was in wait, TSA Wait, did you pay pre- for TSA pre- I paid a long, long time yeah, ago that's for what I'm TSA saying. So pre- I think I got to do that. Yeah, you should because it's really worth it. You don't have to take any shoes or jackets or nothing off, and you don't have to pull out your liquids from your bag. Well, low-key, I think I'm just, low-key, I think I'm just going to do global entry because I'm like, if I'm going to yeah, go to Africa every year... Too. Actually, I have that. It, it includes the I have global so. entry. I've been out of the country one time, twice in my life. 
but that's what I have. It's like a hundred dollars. Like yeah, I know. It's, it's and so, then you have TSA pre, so yeah, it's worth it. I think I'm gonna buy that next. I need to buy that soon. Yeah. But, so um, anyway, that worked out, thank God. But I literally had no space in my fucking bag. Uh, BBA took up a lot of space. <laughs> Miss, I can't check a fucking bag. No, nope, couldn't check a bag. Oh, Luckily, I was on Delta, so they were all good. And this nice guy, I actually was kind of flirting with him, helped me put my luggage in the overhead because you uh, you already know I had the extension of the luggage open. So it was a fat carry-on. <laughs> kind of flirting with him? I mean, he was a couple rows behind me, so I didn't have much time. But yeah, I was like, mm. I don't know what the means. Like, is that like a kitty cat? Like, <laughs> can you explain it to me? Because I've never I mean, had any girl. <laughs> I'm not gonna say what, exactly what was said and done. Like everyone was watching us, but like. So if everyone was watching you, then there's multiple people to witness this. You might as well tell us all. I mean, I was giving him the eyes and smiling and laughing, and I might have like given him the little like touch on the shoulder. I'm like, mm, thanks. And then I was wearing like a nothing shirt, so I like let him see my boobs, kind of. <laughs> Along with everybody else on the plane. They were below because they were sitting, so not them. I'm tall enough. <laughs> <laughs> we got... We, we're going to have a discussion off wax, clearly. Uh, it wasn't that serious. It was just nothing. It doesn't fucking matter. He was wearing sunglasses. I couldn't even see what he looked like anyway. Uh, you but know, sunglasses what, always gives two points. Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh, man. Oh, wow. Well, I'm glad you had a great vacation. Yeah, it was The rest of us were stuck good. here, you know, in the MN, not doing much. Me and Joe went to a gay bar, so that was oh, not new. Saloon? No, we did. We definitely did not go to saloon. <laughs> Which and one? we definitely were not told that it was a gay bar until we were walking up to it. What bar? Uh, it's called Blackheart in St. Paul. Oh, in St. Paul? Yep. Uh, again, we're not told. We were literally told, oh, we're going to go stop at Homie's house okay. and go to the bar behind his house. So we're like, cool. Then we get to the then house, get, yeah. drop off the shit, and then we walk it around. And it's like, it looked kind of, you know, from afar, it looked like a normal bar. And then when you come up, I was like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> this, this ain't no normal bar. But uh, it was too late then. It's like, I'm already the dope. I got to go in. But I mean, like, you had some drinks. It was fine. Yeah, no, drinks was good. They weren't expensive. Like, yeah. saloon style. Like, it was yeah. cool. They yeah. did what they need to do. Like, I don't think that they weren't as strong as saloon. I'll tell you so that. So did you find a boyfriend or what? Uh, no, it was definitely <laughs> not a, it was not as busy as Saloon, <laughs> thankfully for all of us. That's why you didn't find one, because it so wasn't we busy. Were, we were able to uh, <laughs> stay away and have our own little group and okay, okay, okay. be chilling. They had some people doing, like, it wasn't like, car- it was not karaoke, but they, yeah, like drag queens doing their little singing. Oh, okay, but it wasn't actually only, it wasn't only drag queens, so that was the thing. Like, it was, like, other people. Okay. And uh, there was some random moment where this... Uh, one of the queens like fainted. And that was uh-huh, awkward. Like, what? She literally was like walking back and did like the she did the Wendy Williams. And like, y'all thought it was like obviously part of the thing. Oh no no no! Like, you could oh, tell. Oh no, you could you tell. Could tell. Like, oh, okay. It was like nah, she she got fucked up. Like that's a yikes. Happened. But she got up like after a little bit. She was cool, so that was good. But um, yeah, that was very random. Um, yeah. And yeah, that was uh, while we were not uh, enjoying the uh, whale's vagina. So you know, it was <laughs> not out here. So. No, nope, it was great. Uh, highly recommend San Diego over the middle California city. Go to the top or the bottom, not the middle. <laughs> That's Kristen's certified recommendation. Thank you. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> wow. I have this one. I have this one audience comments that I wanted to bring up. Oh, yeah, bring it up. The go ahead. You want me to do it now? Just go ahead. Okay. So if it's I've related had a to few, that. I've had a, no, it's not really to that. Oh. Uh, I had a few people text me from the roster episode, and guys. Okay. And they've all told me the essentially the same thing, which, which is, is that your idea <laughs> that seven people to a roster <laughs> is, too is many. the most ambitious, like, <laughs> impressive thing they've ever heard. Good. <laughs> they should be impressed. They're like, I can't believe it. And I'm like, <laughs> well, what number do you have? And they're all closer to me, like three, four. Three. I think one person told me, you know who this person is, but I'll tell you later, off wax. Uh, one person told me that they're like, I tried five for one summer. Worst summer ever. Okay, <laughs> said, well, interesting. Good, good, good for you to make that attempt. Like, he's like, it's just too much. It's a lot. And I'll give so you that. Everyone has agreed, or at least not everyone, these guys that I've gotten the comments for, the seven, you are apparently some kind of czar. Maybe I don't know. We need to get Christian on here. He would, he would know what to say. But 
I'm glad people are into it and see the benefits of it. My, I was talking to a friend um, recently about it as well, who ha- who admittedly had not heard the episode yet. It was a couple days before it came out, but um, we were just commenting that like another thing that I was sort of implied by what I was saying, but I didn't really like make explicitly clear is that part of the purpose of the roster for me personally, and I think for women in general, is the fact that like, <laughs> you know, like. It's it it gives straight women a way to still date even though like men are trash. <laughs> even though they're not like I hate to say that on the pod I've I've declined to say it because I don't want it like I'm not really on that train but on a certain level like I don't I know, want like, to be I don't want to be like, beholden really like, to it's recorded, like it's crazy it's recorded. I don't, well part of the reason I've been like embraced the single life is cuz like I can't find like a large quantity of men, potential men who seem a to large be like, quantity of men. You sound like a vampire. No, like, but I'm just saying, like, I'm not, like, I don't see a lot of men out there that I think are like, have men. the right, ha- or would it be able to live up to like the standards that I feel are required. So it gives me a way to date, date and enjoy dating without needing to like find the one. You know, and uh, she's it, trying to collect men. Now, I guess I've figured out what the whole studio audience was for. But like, I mean, it's, it's oh, just, I don't wow. know. I guess maybe a nicer way of saying it is We're gonna it's just die. that We're gonna die. whether it's men or women, We're like it die. takes a lot to find the one. And like, it's just like, I don't, I don't want to feel like I can't date just because there's not, I feel for me personally, a, pl- a large plethora of potential men out there who could really fulfill everything I'm looking for in a partner. So like, if I find somebody who I think is cool and vibe with and we're friends and like, whatever, we're attracted to each other, but it wouldn't work as something more, then we can still enjoy that relationship without it needing to be, like, the top most fucking priority thing in the whole world. And so that's also a really big part of it for me. Because I just feel like I don't find, like, dudes who are up to the, cha- up to the task. I don't mean it to sound, like, terrible. I just, like, this is really what my experience has been. Even the dudes that I've dated and, like, we broke up or whatever, it's like... I, I really don't have any exes that are, like, I hate them, hate them, or it's, like, super bad blood. It's more just like it wasn't going to work. And whatever reasons they thought it wasn't going to work are fine. I'm fine for people to think that of me. And I feel the same way for them. Like, it wasn't going to work. You weren't doing what I needed you to do. <laughs> so the, C- like, the CEO wasn't okay. <laughs> and so she said, best of luck in your future endeavors. Like, I, I mean, got I've it. gotten dumped. Like, it's not just me. I'm, it's not like I think I'm better than other people. It's I, just, didn't, I didn't say that. You said that. Yeah. Guy. No, no. So yeah. I, that's, that is part of it. Because I get tired of this, like it's the one or nothing society talk, you know? And it's just like, no, that's stupid. Like it's, it's perfectly good to have fulfilling and meaningful relationships that aren't just, that don't end in marriage. Like it's fine. It doesn't have to be all or nothing. If it's like, you know, I I hate to like put it in such like clinical terms, but like ethically done, like there's a way to do it that is. Oh, you're gonna fine. throw that ethically non monogamous <laughs> in your uh, Tinder profile? <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm like, she about to throw it in the Tinder profile. I mean, profile. trust me. I mean, trust me. If I found somebody who really was like up to the task like that, I would perfectly be happy to be monogamous, but. I haven't found one not, in a while. I'm not going to be able to do it right now. <laughs> All right, that's fine. So you're, that's you're, part of you're it, where too. you're at. Okay. But well, I'm glad that the, the men are, you know, somewhat. They're, they're impressed by the number. That's I will, <laughs> I will admit that I, I mean, you know, I, well, I, fair, I, I, I put my honesty on there. So I said to be I fair, to that, that, like I said, that's, that is ambitious. I would agree. That's just the ideal. <laughs> well, that's shot girl summer, so you know whatever. Hey, <laughs> I know go, what I like. You said you I'm lacking because you know I've been on vacation, but whatever. Yeah, I think I, I feel like people enjoyed that episode. I got a lot of comments on it as well, so I need to get the videos put out of that one so people can see. He says nothing every time I bring up the videos because he doesn't think I'm ever gonna do it, <laughs> which is fair. Fair point. It's been like two months. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. <sighs> Oh, man. Again, <laughs> another episode of Quarantines, the best podcast you'll hear today. Yeah. Shout out. Yes, sir. Mm. Okay, so you cooked on the vacay. Did a little yeah. thing. Do you want to cook on anything else, or you want to save quick hits? Oh. And right. I'll just say this one thing, just because I just need to get out the chest, and it can be on the main part. Yeah. Every female, and I'm putting all all women in one Oh, God. Little thing. This is risky. 
Continue. It's fine. It's perfectly fine. <laughs> or a big thing. It's fine. Doesn't matter. You're in a group. Yeah. If you feel the need to come back around to say something. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know where you're going with this. Just because you have something on your conscience that you, I don't know, want to get off or you're, you think you're trying to be nice or what, whatever it may be, like, but you know good and damn well that that relationship, that bridge, that situation is burned down next to the Titanic and shouldn't be around. Well, you should know good and just well. Just don't do it. Yeah. Like, like, uh, like the studio audience was talking about earlier, like Herm Edwards always says, like, you know, think twice before you hit sand. Yeah, yeah. Th- that that's the don't don't do it. Like I feel like this is a do good it. reminder as the summer continues. Some people have been acting a little wild as of late. A little ratchet. L- little, little use, outside of, outside of pocket, as they would say. Used fewer words, my Minnesota passive aggressive kiddos. Or better yet, use no words. <laughs> use because you ain't got you, nothing to say. You don't need to over-explain how sorry you are about treating somebody like shit. Like if you really cared, you wouldn't have done it. So just fucking shut the fuck up and uh, yeah. stop texting them. Actually, back. my my <laughs> favorite quote, one of my favorite quotes of all time: "Don't be sorry, just don't do it." Yeah, exactly. Or just do it and live with it, and don't try to massage your own guilt over it uh. by like over-explaining how great someone is. Like you don't. I can't. I literally can't stand it when people are like, "Oh, but I'll." always care about you or oh we'll always be friends or i think of you su- like such a good friend no you fucking don't bitch get the fuck and i mean bitch like of any gender like mm. get the fuck out like you I don't know. you don't i know so anyway so, yeah. don't be wild get, like that i just had to get that off but okay yeah. we'll hit the drink break in these quick hits and we'll be good yeah yeah okay drink All break right. Bye.